Here is Bruce Gray with the scouting report on Zach Greinke. I don't know how much you know about Zach Greinke, Brian, other than that he uh, obviously is a big time. He's won, he's made two hundred and forty seven million dollars plus over his entire entire career. Isn't there wasn't there a year where he was technically on three rosters? Technically, by because he was still getting uh, back pay from other teams, like where he had like backloaded uh, uh, contracts from like the Royals, the Dodgers, the Angels, and the Diamondbacks yep. or so something. He went. He went Royals, Brewers, Angels, Dodgers, Diamondbacks, Astros. Is he the most moved around in like Cy Young winning picture, pitcher? Maybe, but okay. So here's what I got. I have a few different things. The oh, uh, I think it was the maybe the owner of the. Padres, I can't, I don't know why I don't have that up. Here's what he said Zach Granke is a different kind of guy. Anybody seen Rain Man? He's a very smart guy. <laughs> he has an anxiety disorder. He doesn't interact well with his team. He doesn't have meals with his teammates. He spends his life studying how to get hitters out. And that's just my opinion. And I can't say this publicly. I guess this is public, so don't tweet it out. We're in a trust tree here in the nest. He hit him on purpose, talking about when he hit Carlos Quinton. And then Carlos Quinton ran out. Remember when they did that, when they both hit each other uh -huh. on the shoulder? Zach Greinke broke his collarbone. He's yeah. like, he hit him on purpose. That's what I believe. And the next thing is, I don't know you about you guys. I'm six foot three, 225. If Carlos Quinton is running at me, I would not put my shoulder down. Also, <laughs> so I have a few things up here. This is a story that one time when Alex Go or Zach Greinke was on the Royals. And this is like a whole thing where this is another thing right here saying about how Zach Greinke has severe social anxiety. Uh, which I think they're just kind of hiding his Asperger's. I mean, if he, if, he, if he has Asperger's, who cares? I don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. He has Right here, this is what they say. He has social anxiety. I have a friend who works for the Dodgers. He said Zach refused to ride in the elevator with anyone and didn't really talk to anyone. He said the ex employees were uh, expressly – I don't think that's the word uh, – expressly prohibited from speaking to him, the, him unless they talked to him first. One time whenever he was on the Royals – he pulled Alex Gordon, who I guess was in a crazy slump, into the video room, and he's like, hey, I wanted to show you something. And I imagine Alex Gordon was like, oh, that's cool. Zach wants to talk to me. That's yeah. different. And Alex or Granke had had a video queued up of himself hitting a home run, and he just told Alex Gordon all he said was, you should do more of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you do comedy and your family's like, have you thought about a Netflix special? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he literally was just like, you should do more of that. There was another thing where he called a team meeting. I don't remember if it was whenever he was on the Dodgers or somewhere else. And this is a quote from the clubhouse players only clubhouse meeting. He called an entire meeting and said, quote, I've been noticing something. Some of you guys have been doing the number two and not washing your hands. So, <laughs> so if you guys could be better about it that would be great what a leader <laughs> so which i've heard a million times that he's like a severe social anxiety basically asperger's level which i think enables him to basically be like i don't even care where i play who i play for who i play with i'm gonna go out i'm gonna fucking be lights out all the time and i'm gonna get my money and he's Dude, like, so, so funny that that guy's like, you ever seen Rain Man? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what I don't understand, though, is if he has such bad social anxiety, how is he able to pitch in front of 60,000? I guess 60,000 people probably is easier than like eye contact and one on one. Yes, I 100 percent. We're saying in that thing that he would he didn't like he would people would get into an elevator and he would wait for an empty one. Damn. So he's like, is he a germ freak too? Like, a, uh, did I, he, he might be, he might just be, a, he's a freak overall. Did he, did he sit out for like COVID reasons? Did he opt yeah. out? Mm -mm. He was on the Who's Astros. Who's he on now? Astros. He's on the Astros? Astros. Yeah. Remember Astros were sick with him, Garrett Cole, all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. They were really good. I was so glad they were good. Cause like, I, I just, after the scandal, I wanted them to come out and just win a world series. Well, remember just, how, remember how,